selfie camera. I am starting indoor in my conservatory because it's very, very windy. What I love on S23 FE, the color accuracy, the wider field of view, and we've got 4K 60 FPS. Here on Samsung Galaxy A54, we've got 4K 30 FPS available. But let's take some selfies, get a jacket on, and I'll see you shortly. I have switched to 4K 30 FPS on S23 FE. This is stabilization. And I have to say, I am a huge A54 fan and I've been using this phone myself the last three months and I did not have um, much issues really. I even edit uh, the videos using this phone. This is a mid-range phone. So now we've got chipset slightly older and it's not Snapdragon here in the UK unfortunately on S23 FE. But I think it should be just fine. Let's stick for a few more pictures uh, outside and check on stabilization. By the way, if you are enjoying my content, sub to the channel will be awesome. Cheers. Now it's time to have a look at the quality stabilization on the rear cameras. This is ultra wide angle. 4K 30 FPS on both. Sadly, none of them can do 4K 60 FPS, even S23 FE. You can clearly see the difference in nanom range and colors. Way better on fan edition here. Well, let's switch to main sensor. That is great because we can switch between the lenses during recording. Colors on fan editions way more accurate in my opinion. Stabilization is also a little bit better. Times three optical zoom on fan edition, and we got times two digital zoom on the Samsung Galaxy A54. Well, let's take some pictures. maximum zoom s23 fe times 12 and we've got times 10 on a54 stabilization is a little bit better on fe of course well let's go back to ultra and i'm going to take a few more pictures now This is the steady mode and it's great because it's this is available on both of these devices and then you know what s 23 fe have way more options you've got portrait video mode there is also director's view which is not available on uh, samsung galaxy a54 however on the other side we've got macro mode on a uh, samsung galaxy a54 which is not available on fe so this is the pro video mode available on both and it's great because i can change the temperature as you can see here on samsung galaxy a54 and it's great because you can do this during recording i love that s23 fe has 8k available and also full hd 120 frames per second which is pretty impressive but what do you think which one is your favorite so far i'm going to move on to some load light scenarios now well, let's have a look and see which one is more true to colors. We've got S20 FE. So we have Samsung Galaxy S23 FE on the right and A54 on the left. 
and I have to say the color accuracy is a bit more accurate on on the right so s23 fe is the winner in my opinion but let's check on the quality now Stands three and both. We've got optical zoom on S23 FE and digital zoom on A54. Switching to the main sensor now. Can't really tell much difference. Maybe slightly different in colors. And switching now to all selfie camera at night. And I have to say, guys. They're going pretty much head to head. Sometimes the A54 is even better in my opinion. Really impressed. But let's take a couple of selfies now. I'm using portrait mode on S23 FE. Pro video mode on A. 54. What do you think guys? So far I have to say I'm really impressed about the color accuracy on FE You know, you got that telephoto lens However, you know night photography pictures are very similar portrait photography I think it's slightly better on FE. There is not that much of a difference really you got that, you know, dual mode video uh, Yes, you know FE is more powerful, but in terms of the camera performance in my opinion, you're not really missing that much if you're getting a uh, 54 please let me know guys what do you think is it actually that 300 dollars difference worth spending let me know in the comments below make sure you watch the a54 full camera review here and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers